Folks, I'm putting on a brave face this morning. I feel a little bit sick. Most of you cynics out there will say, well, you was on the pop last night, young man. And you're probably right. So I've got up, I've come to work regardless. Uh, it's just the old tummy's a little bit of a roller coaster. So I need to collect the van, which is why I'm here this morning. And once I've picked the van up, there's a door on the back. Uh, and then I can start sealing up the workshop so I can be warm in there while I'm working. There's like a window to go in. This one, I've got one door on there. I might have another door at the unit that I can also use. Uh, see if we can get some doors on. Okay, I'll go and see if Stuart's up and get the van keys. Got the van, let's get into work. distraction so the upstairs office lights aren't working don't know why so the only thing I can do is test them out there we are so let's set this to AC volts so the office lights are in there so there's the neutral bar We've got 240 volts. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So there's power running to that breaker. Let's go upstairs and check the light switch. Just before I walked upstairs with the camera, I thought just check the connections. I've isolated this by the way. That's why it's a little bit darker. And it turns out that the wire wasn't correctly crimped into the MCB terminal. So I'm going to remedy that now. So we'll pull both of the lives out. There's one. There's the other. And the problem is, one of the cables is 2.5mm twin and earth, and the other one is 1.5mm. So the difference between those two is preventing any pressure being put onto the uh, 1.5mm cable. So what I'm going to do is link these two together and then if these two are then combined cables, combined wires, then when I compress them they'll combine even more so. Like twisting the strands together almost. And we're going to grab that Pop it back in, screw this down nice and tight, power on, and I can see the lights are on upstairs. It's the little things that count. So strangely, today's nowhere near as cold as the past two days, considering I'm putting some doors on the workshop. So both of these doors, there's one behind the other, there's one here, they're both really heavy. So I don't necessarily want to hang them off this brickwork. Uh, because this is a load bearing pillar and there ain't much of it left so I hate for that to come down so instead I'm going to save these two doors for another project possibly replacing the back door to something a little bit more resilient and instead I have two old internal doors which are light as a feather you can see I just picked that up on my foot and one hand so whilst they'll be good enough for holding the heat in they'll be light enough to hang on the brickwork So I've gone to the trouble of installing this LED light and clearing all this section out, somewhat tidying the cables up, still needs some work. 
install the light switch, vacuum the floor, and then what we have to do is find a rack or make a rack for this timber to get it out of the way so I can hang the doors. So I think I'll put a timber rack up here somewhere. I think I've got an idea. Hello! Hello. Oh, nipples are out. There's your key. Thanks. Key dropped off. Might go and pick up a bag of chips. A fancy bag of chips. I held off on the chips. I have amazing willpower. So instead, folks, we're going down the noodle mines for a pot noodle for lunch. <laughs> So I've just knocked this up to go there for wood storage. There's a little slope on the floor just in that corner. So I've sloped the back edge of this accordingly. So if I kick this level out of the way, and we'll throw this down. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. We got considerably further with the project, although I've got nowhere near fitting the doors, which I was meant to be doing. So we've got a base, we've got three rack spaces. So the internal rack here is for plywood storage. We'll have plywood, MDF, that kind of stuff in there. And then these two racks are going to be open this side and the other so we can stand stand planks of timber and stuff into there so I'm almost finished I'll show you what I mean when I'm done I'm pretty pleased with this actually so this side we've got a kickboard on the bottom brace on the section there and then a backboard to stop any of these interfering with the sheets and we can store all the pieces of timber like the loose off cuts of timber here the same round the other side and the uh, the sheets the sheet material in the middle she's a winner I could just do with a little bit more storage for the smaller off cuts so I've got some particularly small off cuts like the ends of scaffolding planks and stuff like that and uh, they take up too much space in the rack so I might store them on the top well, again it's been one of those days that's been a little bit random uh, but I am covered in wood dust it's quarter past seven I think I better start to make a move home because I won't have time to edit the vlog if I don't so if I don't see you until, I'll see you tomorrow.